Joining me now for more, managing editor at spaceupclose.com, uh, Ken, Ken Kramer. Ken, it's always good to see you. Um, you know, I've wondered about this because there's more launches. You've got all these rockets going up. There's more satellites. Uh, is this a real concern? Could this stuff really come falling down? Uh, I'm not concerned at all. I think that was a little uh, over overplayed a little bit. Uh, I was just at the launch. It was a spectacular launch. We saw the space jellyfish. I sent you guys some pictures. Maybe you'll have a chance to show them. Um, the, the, the chance that you're going to get hit by falling space debris is extremely small. So it's not really something you have to worry about. The, 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 the only one that is of any concern at all is the Chinese rocket. They're going to launch later this month uh, when they're building their space station. That's going to be an uncontrolled reentry of that of that rocket. So that's a little bit more risky. And they'll be doing that again next year. When you year. say uncontrolled, uncontrolled reentry, what do you mean? Uncontrolled reentry means they cannot control the reentry. They can't target it. They can't fire the thrusters to aim it. Basically. Oh, okay. And so that is a real okay. Fault so it's not like those Chinese space rockets. It's not like those SpaceX rockets where we see them land like on that little grid all exactly. on their own. This is, I guess, the Chinese ones aren't quite so advanced. Um, they, so, but, but, exactly. I mean, with, with the space. Them. With the space junk up there, though, and, and all of this stuff floating around and all of these now private companies also sending rockets up, I mean, could we have an issue with just with just too much old space junk floating around? Well, that is the issue. Yes. In orbit, the possibilities that things could collide and damage other satellites that are up there. That, that's a really great risk. And uh, it's getting worse every day with uh, Elon Musk launching uh, these Starlink satellites, you know, five dozen at a time. There's over three, almost 3,000 of them up there now in the last two years. So that is actually the greater problem. And another problem is the ASATs. The Russians uh, launched that anti-satellite weapon last year, created a cloud of debris, and some of that could have impacted the space station, including their own cosmonauts living on the space station. So that was completely irresponsible what the Russians did. So that is really a, a significant risk, actually. And every once in a while, they have to yeah. fire the thrusters on the space station and move it away so it doesn't hit the cloud of debris. Maybe you saw the, the movie uh, Gravity a couple of years ago. So that yeah. is a real yeah. risk. Yeah. And we don't want those satellites um, uh, impacting uh, those debris impacting our space station, a hundred billion dollar space station with people on board, and then they would be, you know, at risk and they could die. That that that's a real risk. interesting. So Other it sounds like we, we need to be more fields. worried about the we need sorry to interrupt you, but we need to be more worried about the stuff uh colliding in space instead yes. of the stuff coming down and hitting us on Earth. Ken, you always explain exactly. it so well and you make it easy to understand. Thank you for coming on tonight. Thanks and I hope you enjoyed that uh, that launch. Thank you. Yeah, I did. My buddy sent me the pictures. It looked awesome. Okay, we'll see you next time. Look at mine. Okay, moving on. on. For the first Facebook. time. Okay, I'll check it out after the show. For the first